I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber Frost from Kajin Cosplay and today we're back again with you guys with Hunter Hunter episode 71. We are, I think this is the last episode, I, I'm guessing this is the last episode where we're gonna see our gang fight in a game of dodgeball with the game master or one of the game masters. Um, it's getting pretty intense. Kirua's hands are done. <laughs> They're all like purple and puffy. Poor kid. And Gon doesn't really care. Like. He's aware of it, and he doesn't give a shit. Like, he's gonna do it because he needs to destroy... What's his name? I don't remember. Razor, there you Razor, go. Yeah. And uh, now it's only Gon, uh, Kirua, and Hizoka on the field, and he's yeah, outside. Gon has a plan. He has a plan, because it's... I think it's Razor's time to... To throw, yeah. To throw, is it? It's his time to throw. Oh, maybe. Yeah. But they, they are in formation, like something's gonna happen. He has a plan. It's crazy. Kirua has said it's crazy, but he's like, I said, Haha, I wanna try. So, oof. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Oof. So, without further ado, let's jump in this crazy game, finish this, and see if they win. Pretty sure they will. All right. Let's go. Okay. Ah, that was great. <laughs> um, you know, sometimes when we talk about Hunter Hunter off, off recordings, and uh, we were discussing like Naruto versus Hunter Hunter the other day, and I was telling her that usually when I watch Hunter Hunter, I have this feeling like there's a lack of stakes. Not, I don't know why. Like maybe it's because so far we haven't really seen them lose any any match. Or it's because it they don't end up fighting like we expect them to. But in this case, I don't really care if I knew they were gonna win. If I had this this feeling that it was gonna be like an easy deal, because I had the feeling that it wasn't gonna be an easy deal. They made me feel all the feels, and they made they made me freak out over that power up. Woo! And uh, they did not come out of that unscathed. Like, now there is actual consequences because of that game. Now Kiro has to heal and there's a, a fight on the horizon. So, I don't know. That that whole match was uh, something else. I liked it a lot. <laughs> yeah. I can say that I was surprised that Gon was so selfish during this episode and the previous one. Because mm. you guys have been told, telling us that he's... A really selfish kid. Oh, and we see it too. Before that, we saw it as some glimpse of it, usually, but now it's like a put on display of selfishness. That was really obvious in this one. As soon as we saw Kiro's hands, and he said, like, I knew what, what it was doing to him, and he still wanted to keep trying and do the same attack. That's, I can, that's I can when... understand why he wanted to fight head on with. Yeah. Razor. <laughs> That's the He's a mind, hot sorry. head. He's a like I think his dad is similar. Like he once once he has a goal, he doesn't really care about um who he has to work with, what he has to do, or who has to suffer. But there is that, but there's also the fact that with Kirua is trusting Gon so much that is he doesn't care about himself if yeah. he has to do something for his friend. And actually, yeah, it makes it makes he me sad. It so much. And it makes me sad because it's almost like with all the abuse Kirua has ever taken from his family. He doesn't really care about what abuse he has to take from Gon because he doesn't see it as abuse. He sees it as I am uh, I need necessary to, friend, to him. Yeah. yeah, Gon needs my help, and I'm his friend, so I'm gonna but you know take that. What will be the next time? Oh my gosh, uh, Gon needs my power. Well, I need to die to help him to do something. Do you I don't think know. Like that someday. I know that Kiro is a... I mean, we can discuss about Kiro a lot. Like, he's a broken character deep down, even though he doesn't act like it. Everything he's been through has screwed over his his way of seeing friendship, love, and, and, and even strength and power. Like, his way of seeing all of that makes him do stuff that no one else would ever do with a smile on his face, you know? Like, taking all that strength because it makes him happy to, to be helping Gon. It's really sad. So what he does in the future, I mean, I get trying to help your friend just because he's your friend and you want to help him. Gon has done that also. It's just that it, it's sad that he's, a, he's willing to take on that hurt considering what he's been through before. Like, it's, it's almost like he's, he's used to it now, so he doesn't care. And it's really sad. As for Gon, 
the saddest thing is it's not even his fault like it's not i think he doesn't understand because he also said he never had a friend before so that friendship is new and his way of handling it and you know knowing what the limit is like what what can i ask you to what to do for me I think he doesn't really know the limit in his mind he thinks that since he's going to do anything in his part for his friend they need to do the same because that hard fr friendship works Technically, at the same time, though, no. I, would he ask the same of like Kurapika and, and Leodio? I don't think so. Like, I think his bond with Kirua is different. Like, he understands that if he wants it that bad, Kirua will do it. As for like Kurapika, would probably be like, "Are you stupid? I'm not doing that this way. Like, we'll uh, we'll win, but I'm gonna think of something else. Like, I'm gonna think of a plan that makes me do this normally, like not like a fucking sacrifice." And Nyori would just not play in that game, so... <laughs> no. uh, but uh, yeah, I think Gon just doesn't understand, like, that speech he, he was given by... Tsesgera? Tsesgera. Okay, there you go. Uh, the speech he got Army at the dude. end. Army dude. Military man. Yeah. He was... Uh, he listened to him, and he, it's like, he's still a kid, you know? We, we tend to forget about that, because he's so f fucking strong. He's freaking 13. I know, he's really 13, young, yeah. he hasn't... He I has been through a lot. He has been through a lot, but honestly, he has not learned a lot about life. He doesn't really know much about, you know, how emotions are supposed to be felt and expressed and, and how friendships work. He only knows Kirua and his gang, you, you know, Kurepke Leorio, and how he's always dealt with them. So he is really naive when it comes to this and he makes mistakes and he doesn't think before he acts. He's really just a kid and that's scary. When you have so much strength that you can fucking punch a sun towards like your enemy like that, it's really scary. Like he could do a lot of damage, and since he doesn't care who he drags along with him when he makes these brash decisions, you know, so many people could end up being hurt. Like what happened just there? Like if the bombers had showed up, Jesus, a lot of people would not have come out alive. Two eyes hurt. Pretty much everybody else are, is dying yeah. or hurt too. But once again, yeah, like he set his he set his uh, he set his eyes on another goal and he focused on it so much that he didn't see anything else. He gets tunnel vision. That tunnel vision is scary. J I think Jing is the same, by the way. Like working with a death row inmate just for the fun of making his son, you know, grow up. That's like, dude, you trust people that have done terrible Way things, too much, man. I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's, I think, I don't know much about Jing, I don't know, like, we haven't really seen him. From what I saw, Razor kind of change. He doesn't yeah. erase what he's done in the past, though, let me be clear well, about he, that. Well, he can't do that, but I think he came from a place where no one ever saw him as a human being, no one ever trusted him, no one ever gave him a chance, and there comes Jing, who, you know, pats him on the shoulder, and he's like, Oh, I'm, I'm offering you a chance to prove yourself, and he's calling him by his name, Razor. He's giving him a task. He's making him feel like there's a he has a purpose, and uh, he's treating him like a human human being. So he, I think he liked that, and he doesn't want to let him down, which is why he follows the rules by the book so much. But uh, Jing, he's like, it's like, you know, Razor said it himself. Like I, I look at him and I see kind of like a grown up, like a full size kid, you know, a, a, a man child. Um, that makes me think of Gone a lot, and I'm like, how is? I mean, we we saw Jing, we saw actual present Jing, like he's hanging out on top of dragon, on top of a dragon. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, I don't know, I don't know what type of guy he is. I kind of want, I wish I could see him more. Like I, I'm liking the character he more and more. Seems responsible enough. He seems really unresponsible, but. Powerful enough not to care about that. One of that. the top five net users, so... Yeah. Well, they said he used to be. I don't know if he still is, but... Maybe he still is. Anyway, I I feel like that reunion is going to be intense, but uh, I wish we could see more of Jane. I like him. I like the character. And just like I like Gon, it's just... It's not because I like the characters that I cannot fear what they're going to do in the future with their fucking personalities, <laughs> but... Uh, that was great. That was a great finale. A little more, that's why. Yeah. But that was a great finale to a great battle. So I'm ready to move on and fight the bombers because now there's like there's another fight on the on the horizon. Jing, not Jing, Gon has to prepare. Kirua has to heal, and there's also that that other guy that really. And what did he do? So his name is not on the on the book. Is his, is his name still on the book? Can they tell he's still alive? 
Uh, I think they can tell if he's still alive, yeah. Because uh, he pretended that he was dead, but he didn't do anything to cover his name. So if they just look... Uh, well, in, in a way, they think he's dead, so I don't think they're going to look. But, um... Uh... Yeah. Anyway, he's still there. <laughs> he's still around, and he's also going after the bummers. So let's not forget about him. All right. All right. Okay. So we're gonna move on. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. If you want to see the next one right away, it's already on Patreon. The link is in the description. So don't forget to subscribe if you wanna watch it now, guys. And if not, wait for the next one to be out on YouTube. Bye, guys. Bye.